All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, iterate odd numbers with a for loop. So for loops don't have to iterate one at a time. By changing our final expression, we can count by even numbers. So we're going to start at i equals zero and loop while i is less than 10. And we're going to increment i by two each loop with i plus equals two. All right. So, for example, const our array equals this empty array right here. And then we're, pardon me, and then we're going to say four, let i equals zero while i is less than 10, i plus equals two like that. So when we do our array dot push i, it's going to give us zero, two, four, six, eight, but it's going to stop at 10 and not do 10 because 10 is not less than 10, right? So let's reiterate this. Our array will now contain this array, like we just said, and uh, we're going to change our initialization so we can count by odd numbers. So now we're going to push odd, push the odd numbers from one through nine to my array using a for loop. All right. So we'll come over here and we'll say four, let I equal and this time we're going to start at one. Then we're going to say, while well, I is less than, well, we can say less than or equal to nine. Or we could just say less than 10. But either way, it's the same amount of keystrokes. I might as, we might as well do equal to nine because it's the same hand. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Uh, and so we're going to say I plus plus like that. Excuse me. I plus equals two like that so we can do all the odd numbers all right so now we're going to say uh my array dot push i like that and so we can come down here and say console console dot log come on come on my array like that and we can see this array like here and when we can get this and just pull it into here and we can see it go one, three, five, seven, nine. Each one of these brackets, excuse me, each one of these arrays is each iteration of the for loop, right? So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to count backwards with a for loop. And we'll see you next time.